Today's video is partially a re-upload. This is a pretty old video, I believe about four years old, when I went over customizing. I had three parts and I never finished the fourth part. So I showed you how to do wheel swap, how to remove paint, all that good stuff, but I never finished the project. So here we are, Tuesday, October 31st, 2017, and we finally have finished the project. It's been sitting in a box, ready to go. The new footage begins after the car is painted. And I went ahead and left all the wheel swap info because it is pretty good info. And although I do describe it in the newer videos, maybe not quite such detail. In this one, you'll get that. And I didn't spend a lot of time on paint because I wanted somewhat of a rat rod look. So sit back, enjoy. Thanks for watching. First, we're going to go over the tools you'll want to have. Uh, first thing you'll want to pick up is a, a tap with a 50, number 50 drill bit. This is a tap, 256 tap with a number 50 drill bit. This is made by Dubro. I think this runs about 4 or $5 for the set. My 256 tap, I've had it for a while, and I've got it on a handle here. Uh, basically, the handle insertion, this is an Entogy uh, uh, RC Allen head um, handle, but it wasn't big enough, so I drilled it out and I put a set screw. Actually, there's already set screw holes, but I put one on each side to hold it nice and tight. So you'll want some kind of handle for your tap. There's a, a, a number 50. Now I've got a little collar on there. Um, you also want to drill. This is definitely not a requirement, that little collar. That was made, that's by Great Plains, and this will run about five bucks. Now you may have to drill out the hole for the bit to go through a little bit, but whatever. Also want a, another drill bit to actually drill out the rivet. And it's not a rivet, but we just call it a rivet. Um, I use a 1 8 and the reason why I use a 1 8 is because it will take out everything and if you go too far it still doesn't take any of the chassis material out. You'll want some 2 by 56, 256 by 3 16 of an inch button head screws. Oh there we go. A little button head screw there. And you'll also want some little side cuts here to uh, cut the little tabs off for the axles. To drill out the hole first, but I'll show you what I do. I just drill it pretty much as far as it's going to go on this stopper. Guess we need to get in the video there, huh? You may want to pull it out a little bit, go back in. 